First down with the tight end right. Portis takes his 16th carry of the game and picks up a couple. Ramsey throws a bullet to the flat and it's complete at the 41. Eventually shoved out at the 21. First. Sean Williams eventually gets there, but I don't know why he even bothers. Big gain and they'll move the chains. Well, he eventually stops them, but way past the marker, that one's gonna hurt. That will be his fourth tackle, and he's hitting hard out there in the secondary. Well, he's making them think twice before going his direction. Portis has his number called on first down and heads wide right. Eventually runs out at the six. It'll be first and goal. Clinton Portis works it to the outside and gets a huge gain. That's a great play, great execution. Let's have another look. Yep, got past the marker and eventually runs out of bounds. What a run, and he is generating some great numbers. Oh, yeah, he's running hard. And up to now, he's got 110 yards on 17 carries. What are the numbers generated on the ground? That is impressive. Ramsey ropes this one to the end zone, and it's caught for a touchdown. Patrick Ramsey makes a terrific completion in double coverage here. Wow, now that is one confident QB. Peter, that's his first touchdown pass of the game. How do his stats look? Well, so far, he's got 81 yards and one touchdown. Here's the extra point, and it's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Hall kicks it off. Joyce hatches it back at the six. Stop at the 25. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Look at the drive results, and you can see that they're getting it done and have punched the ball into the end zone. Nice work so far. Delvin Joyce got waylaid by the defense before he was able to put Munch on the run back. Smoot makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Fred Smoot knocked that pass down, and he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Barber bulldozes right of center and rambles for about five. Kiki Barber has had a great day on the ground. Great movement outside the tackles and using his speed to round the corners. Great game. He's racked up 53 yards and one touchdown. it over the middle and they convert on third down first, first down, down from the eye Warner sings it to the right side and first the reception Kurt Warner gambles big time on this play and it works makes it a little more exciting to watch too oh if he wasn't accurate on this throw it would have been an interception it's a real fine line. Nice pass, Peter, and he's really lighting up the stat sheet. Oh, you got it. So far, he's got 192 yards and two touchdowns. Springs hammers the receiver and forces him to drop the ball incomplete. Kurt Warner is showing off some precision passing out there, Dan. Clear. Second and 10. up a yard on the play and that will bring up third down 
Third down from the shotgun. Condor goes in motion. Interceptor. Tackled at the 42. I'm coming out. Oh, 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 okay. oh, 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 oh. Sean Taylor does a nice job picking off the pass there. He's got it, and he gets a little more with that nice little run back. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Redskins' offense takes the field with time winding down. They'll start at their 42-yard line. Portis carries it off the toss and takes it upfield. Impressive yards in the ground here. Check it out. Boy, that's some nice running. It's all about field vision. And if you can see where you have room to roam, good things happen. What a run, Peter. And his numbers are adding up. Adding up to one big number. Up to now, he's got 122 yards on 18 carries. Green gets the sack way back at the 48. Second, Second down and four wideouts in the game. Dan bunch of receivers out there. Defense is expecting that, and they go to nickel. Gardner goes in motion. Porter barrels off his left guard and moves forward for seven. Corey Raymer used every ounce of his big self to do some key blocking on that last play. They got some, but they'll need more than that if they want to convert on this third down. Yeah, they have a ways to go, Dan. They would have loved a few more yards out of that play. Third down, three wideouts in the game. Picks up 11 on the play, and the clock will continue to run. Linton Portis lowered his shoulder on that play and created some extra yards. Nice run, Peter, and he's putting together some very nice steps. Definitely. Up to now, he's got 140. The Giants take their first time out. First down, just a single receiver on the field. Portis carries it for the fourth straight time and heads out right. The Giants will take a timeout. That's their second. Second down. The clock is stopped at 1.33. Portis loses. The Giants take a timeout. That's their final one. Third and Portis. ten. Better go forward, not Portis will get to carry on third down and is brought down well short of the markers. The clock keeps winding down. Fourth down coming up. Omar Stoutmeyer made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. He now has eight tackles. Fourth down and the field goal unit is on the field. From 30 yards out and Ron Hall has little trouble pooching this one through. Let's see it again. Yep, he knows that you aren't allowed to miss many of those in this league. Late in the game and they take the lead. That was a very big field goal. As big as they come, Dan. The ref gets the signal and we're set. Hall rockets this one deep. Joyce decides to take it out of the end zone. Brought down at the 17. Delvin Joyce thought he had some running room from the end zone, but gets planted before he gets to the 20. 
The Giants will start this drive deep in their own territory with the clock at 101. Warner throws a heater and it's tipped incomplete. Sean Springs came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That is their fourth batted ball. Tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. We'll see if they can keep it up, though. Second down, one man back. Hilliard makes the catch out to the left and down. He's got the first. The clock continues to tick down. Warner tips it to the left sideline, and the ball's loose. The Redskins have it. And he stopped right there. Smooth turns things around by forcing the ball loose. He gets recovered right here. And they get some good yards out of it. Great turn of events for this defense. Peter, there are many ways you can start a drive, but uh, a turnover is not one of them. No, definitely not. That was a big time play. Whether the player had possession prior to the fumble. All right, what have you got? Okay, all right. Well, Dan, we've got to see if the receiver established possession before he lost the ball. Remember, he has to have full control of it. Well, it doesn't look like he had possession, Dan. I'd call it an incompletion and overturn it. After review, the play has been ruled an incomplete pass. The receiver did not have possession of the ball prior to the fumble. Second down. He likes the call, and you sort of have a feeling that he knew it all along. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Woo! You know exactly what you want to do. Go do it. Come on. Second and ten. Ball at the Giants. 33 yards. Down! Warner floats it to the right side, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Warner is checking off his receivers, finding the open man, and that's evident as you review the chart here. Note the short passes. Third down. The clock is stopped at 33. It's intercepted. Tackled at the 40. Face mask. Number 21. Five yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Tiki First Barber down. held the face mask back there, but it was kind of iffy. That's a five yard penalty and a right call. The Redskins have the ball to start this final drive of the game in great field position with the clock at 28. Portis takes it off the toss and runs into traffic. Clinton Portis used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they're hoping for more. Well, this is where the offense goes in slow motion. No hurry to start the play. Use up as much time as possible. Williams tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Sean Williams came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Another batted ball, and they have been attacking the pass every chance they get. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it? Third down, and they line up with three tight ends. Cartwright goes in motion. Portis gets the toss and runs into trap. The Redskins take their first time off. I can smell fear from here, baby. Gardner makes the catch on the right sideline and they somehow get the first off a big fourth and long. Patrick Ramsey throws right past the coverage. 
and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. Peter, that conversion sealed the deal. This game is over. Oh, you got that right. Now they can sit on the ball, catch up on some fan mail, and maybe wait for the clock to run out. And that will do it for tonight's game. The Redskins come out on top 24 to 21. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Okay, Dan, thank you very much. And let's welcome all of you back to the studio. I'm Chris Berman here to bring you our ESPN video games post-game wrap-up. The Redskins stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Clinton Portis on the carry here as they work the ground game. This is a nice run. A 30-yard touchdown for the Redskins. The Redskins again tie it up, 14 all. The Giants trying to answer back. The Giants in control at the 35. Well-dressed Amani Toomer ran a terrific route here and was able to pull this one in. A 34-yard touchdown for the Giants. The Skins answering right back. Skins trailing by seven. Clinton Portis finds an opening here and he was off. They tie it up again, 21 all. The Giants on D, Sean Taylor, is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. Game tied, 21 all. Clinton Portis let his big old offensive line pave the way on this one. That set up a 30-yard field goal. The Giants on defense, Marcus Washington would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The Skins, after getting an interception, Skins out in front by three. Patrick Ramsey connected with his man on this one. And that's where we'll leave this one. Skins squeaked out a win, 24 to 21. Now let's talk to a player who was instrumental in their dominant running game and is our player of the game. Clinton Portis is on the field with our Susie Collins. Susie? Thank you, Chris. You played brilliantly, and you edged them out in a hard-fought game. What made the difference for you guys to come out triumphant today? Well, I have to give it up to the other team. I got to give them credit for playing hard and making us really work for it. We just leave it all on the field and let the chips fall where they may, and luckily we came up with the win today. Chris, back to you. That winds up our broadcast of the NFL preseason on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports for 25 years and counting. I'm Chris Berman. Thanks for joining us.